Well, it's time to get dirty as we continue to experience drought conditions throughout the state. It's imperative to adapt our lifestyles to do our part to help conserve. Unfortunately, the Halava Xeriscape Garden has the answers we need to know when it comes to plants with some tips on water use, what plants to grow, as well as plant mold mitigation and more. Joining us is Michelle Harmon, Community Relations Specialist with the Board of Water Supply, and he joins us now live uh, with a great background. Good, good morning, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's our pleasure. Always some great tips from you guys. So uh, tell us, what's going on with the Halava Xeriscape Garden this month? Oh, well, actually, we're still closed for right now, um, but we might be having some volunteering opportunities come up, so stay tuned for details on that. Um, but today, I just wanted to, since I can't meet with people in person, I wanted to share some of our most frequently asked questions and then some resources where people can go to get more plant help. Yes, we're always hungry for that knowledge from you guys. So tell me, what is the most mm -hmm. frequently asked question? Uh, is it about what kind of plants we should grow or how much water should we use? Yeah, definitely. We get lots of both of those kinds of questions. But I would say more often, um, people have their plants and they're wondering how much to water. Um, so it's important that everybody, you know, before you purchase a plant, think about where you're going to put it, how much water is available, especially as you mentioned in our drought season. Um, and then so get to know the plant and if the soil is, needs to stay a little wet or if it can dry out a little bit. But other than that, I have a really great help tip that everybody can use. Um, so you take a chopstick, a wooden chopstick, as long as it doesn't have any paint on it, and then you stick it into your pot. And you want to get it in at least a couple of inches, maybe a little deeper if you can. Leave it about 10 to 15 minutes and then pull it out. And if the chopstick um, looks completely dry, then your soil is dry. But if you pull it out and it um, looks dark, there's soil on it, um, it looks like there's some water on there, then you know that the soil still has some water. And so you can play with that system and so watch your plant and how it reacts and then fine tune it and just always use the chopstick to see when you need to add water. Wow, Michelle, that is an excellent tip because usually I just look at them and oh, <laughs> think it's <laughs> wet, but then it's actually dry and then uh, the bug is, is mocking a little bee? bit later. Yes, so great I've tip. I've used that method too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah, that chopstick, uh, that's the way to go. So tell me, Michelle, what is the next tip that you have for us? Well, um, a lot of people are really tuned into their plants and they're paying attention and that's awesome. That's what we, that's a skill we need to build as plant growers. And so the next questions I get a lot are about scale and sooty mold. So sooty mold sounds really horrible. It looks really horrible. It's this black fungus that can cover the leaves and sometimes the bark and not fruit. Um, it's a bigger problem if it covers too much of the plant where the plant can't make food. But in general, um, a plant will be able to live with sooty mold. It just won't be the most, um, it's good for Halloween, but it won't be the most um, <laughs> cheerful plant that you have around. With scale, it's a little bit more difficult because they, there's thousands of different kinds of scale. They come in a little bit different sizes and shapes and colors. Um, but the main thing is, is you want to control these things before they get too big. Um, a lot of those things are associated with other pests, for example, ants. And so what you can do is minimize things like ants and um, white fly, that sort of thing. Um, another thing you can do is get rid of these pests as soon as you notice them, because it's really easy. You can just wipe them off. You can prune your branch. You can isolate the plant before it spreads to other plants. Um, so taking care of things quickly is really important. And then I would say the biggest advice, though, is to help keep your plant healthy because healthy plants resist pests and disease better. Um, so sometimes something as small as changing the plant location will help the plant um, get enough sunlight or more shade or even airflow and keep it nice and healthy and then you won't have to worry about these pests. Yeah, you um, Oh, I do, okay. I do want to mention, if you see scale on hala, that could be a, a bigger invasive species problem and you can report that to 643 pest. That's some great tips right there. Remind me, I gotta go clean off some of those pests off of my papaya tree. I saw those the other day. Oh, uh, no. but, but also, Michelle, where can people go to learn more and uh, get them more, uh, get more of their plant questions answered? Yeah, definitely. So um, folks can always interact with us uh, through our social media. We have a website with lots of different information. Um, for social media, that's at BWS Honolulu. Um, we also have some social media and websites for our garden, so Halava Xeriscape Garden. Um, we have a nonprofit, and they're on Instagram, and um, so you would be looking for the friends of Halava Xeriscape Garden.
but I want to mention a really great program, and that's the UH Master Gardener program. Um, they're having in-person events, and then you can also contact them on the phone or through email, and there are dedicated and passionate volunteers with access to UH resources, and they are they really want to help you with tune into your problem and help you with specific solutions for what you're facing. So please go and check them out. They have um, a day, a community day at Pearl City Urban Garden Center, and those are second Saturday. So I think the next one is September 10th. And that sounds great. Community Relations mm -hmm. Specialist Michelle Harmon, thank you so much from the Board of Water Supply, keeping us informed with all these great tips. You have a wonderful day and keep up the great work. Thank you. Yes. You too. Thank you so much. Thank Aloha. Aloha.